Welcome back to Mason Talks. So one of the biggest highlights from the Browns' victory over the Houston Texans last Sunday was their 76-yard punt return touchdown taken to the house by Donovan Peoples-Jones. Now, it was a big play in the context of the game because at the time it gave the Browns a 7-5 to lead and all the momentum in the world. But it was also a big play considering the historic context of the Cleveland Browns. If you look at the Browns over the last 10 years from 2012 to 2022, they have had a lack of special teams stars, whether it be kickers, punters, or especially kick returners slash punt returners. The Browns special teams unit as a whole has absolutely been a negative. They the 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 one thing about special teams in the NFL is that you want it to be completely unexciting unless it's a, you know, punt return touchdown. You want it to be unexciting. You want things to be routine, you want it to be clean, you want the you know, the long snapper to get the snap back, the holder to hold it. You want guys like Cade York to just go straight down the uprights. That has not been the story of the Cleveland Browns special teams in recent years. It's been awful. And that includes their kick returning. In the late 2000s, early 2010s, the Browns had one of the best kick returners in the league, Josh Cribbs. He was a multi-time Pro Bowler, really, really good. And then after Josh Cribbs left in free agency... The Browns, a couple years after that, were lucky to hit again on a very good punt returner, that time being Travis Benjamin. And then after Travis Benjamin left, nothing. For basically 10 years, the Browns had no help returning kicks, no help returning punts. It was never a positive play. The only time punt returns were exciting for the Browns is when they would muff kicks and give it back to the other team. So that that's why Donovan People uh, Donovan Peoples Jones's punt return was such an exciting moment for Browns fans. It was their first punt return touchdown since uh Travis Benjamin did it in 2015. It had been nearly a decade. And it would be easy to write it off as a fluke and say, you know, it, 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 every, every NFL team gets a kick return touchdown every once in a while. It's really not that big a deal. It just so happened that Donovan Peoples-Jones was able to get good blocking and find daylight. You, you could easily write it off as a fluke and say, well, that's never going to happen again. But if you consider the rarity of punt return touchdowns, not only just in the context of the Cleveland Browns, but also in the context of the National Football League in general, I think it's fair to say that we can now look at Donovan Peoples-Jones as a punt return specialist for this team. And it's not just because he was the first player to give the Browns a punt return touchdown in seven years, but he was also only the second player in the NFL this season to have a punt return touchdown, the other being uh, Marcus Jones for the Patriots. They, of course, had that crazy game-winning punt return touchdown, but that's it. It was Marcus Jones and Donovan Peoples-Jones. I mean, it doesn't happen that frequently. And the fact that Donovan Peoples-Jones was able to get a punt return touchdown, one of only two so far in the league this year, tells you that he knows what he's doing. And he is a special talent when it comes to returning kicks. And it is a little bit odd to see because this isn't the first time uh, that DPJ has tried to return kicks. The Browns have put him back there before and it never really, you know, came to, to, to anything But last week against Tampa Bay, he had a couple of good punt returns. And then, of course, he broke the one against the Texans. And I just think that we're seeing him start to figure that out. And he's starting to figure out how to return kicks, how to actually get yardage. And he's not going to, you know, get punt return touchdowns every game. That'll probably be his only one of the entire season. 
But I think that we could realistically see now a scenario with Donovan Peoples-Jones returning punts where he's at least able to get you some decent yardage every time he returns a kick. And that would be a huge thing for the Browns. If you're able to start, like, let's just say instead of starting at your own, you know, 45-yard line, you're starting at your opponent's 45-yard line because Donovan Peoples-Jones was able to field the kick and not just immediately get hounded, but he was able to get around a couple blockers and get a couple, you know, a decent amount of yardage. Those are the types of plays that build momentum for your team and help you really flip games. I mean, you look at the Texans game. The Browns were playing terribly early on. They lit, I mean, they had a safety with, with, with Nick Chubb, who's supposed to be, well, he is one of the best running backs in the league, but an offensive line that for the last few years has been one of the better offensive lines in the league, and they gave up a safety to the worst team in the league. Things were going poorly for the Browns. And then you put Donovan Peoples-Jones out there. He is the punt return touchdown. Everything flipped. The defense started playing well. The offense was able to get chunk yardage with runs. You even had Cade York hitting no doubt field goals. I mean, everything in that game, all the momentum of that game changed once Donovan Peoples-Jones had that punt return touchdown. I think that if he can keep doing that and if he can truly be a punt return specialist for this team, it could end up being really impactful. It could be something that the Browns have not had on their team for nearly a decade. And for once, you might finally start seeing some positives from your special teams unit. And that would be huge. Let me know in the comments, do you think Donovan Peoples-Jones has the ability to be a punt return specialist for this team? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.